Today, not only do we gather together to remember how the Lord calls us to follow him, but we also, before we go to prayer, recognize all those who have uh, moved on this last uh, few weeks and in the week ahead in their academic achievements, moving on from eighth grade into high school, high school into college, and college into the work world, and especially those in our church family here, realizing that we as a family at Galilee help to nurture and engage each of these young ones as they've grown up, even in our midst here. Not only as they grow academically, but also in their faith in Jesus. So to share a bit of those, as you can follow along on the screens, and there's a couple of typos I'll just share with you right now according to what's in our booklet. But the first one is for Dean Bouchat. Dean is the son of William and Brandy, and he's the grandson of Richard and Linda Smith. Dean is graduating from Stevenson Middle School and will be attending Kent High School in the fall. Jenna Brock. Jenna, I'm looking around here. I know I saw her this morning. Hey, Jenna. Jenna is uh, the daughter of Shelley Brock, will be graduating from Chesapeake Bay Middle School, and will be a freshman at Chesapeake High School in the fall. Summer Parsley is the daughter of Sandy and Ben Parsley. She is also going to be graduating from Chesapeake Bay Middle with Jenna, and will be going to Chesapeake High School in the fall. We have Eric Permison. Eric is the son of Angie and Kevin, and he will be graduating again from Chesapeake Bay Middle School and attending Chesapeake High School. You guys have all done really well at Chesapeake Bay Middle, haven't you? And also as our confirmands, being able to share their faith just a couple weeks ago. Adiel Roman Rosario. Adiel is the daughter of Ruth Rosario and Eric Roman. She's graduating from Chesapeake Bay Middle School with a 4.0 GPA. Adiel, you did really well there, it sounds like. Not surprised, very smart. Uh, she is also an accomplished musician, playing both the flute and the piano. Saying that here, you might be asked to come up and play with them up here, just so you know. Uh, and as well as a loving sister and daughter. She will be attending Chesapeake High School in the fall. Alexandra Schweitzer, she is the daughter of Paul and Lisa. She graduated from Northeast Middle School and will be attending Northeast High School in the fall. We have a little bit of rivalry here on both sides of the church. Now again to our high school graduates we celebrate. Benjamin Hilpert. Ben is the son of uh, myself and Rachel. Uh, he, will be gradu he graduated from Chesapeake High School with a 4.15 GPA, which I guess means he's got mom's brains. Uh, while in high school, Ben not only worked three jobs, uh, but he also played varsity soccer, basketball, and tennis. He'll be attending Concordia University, Wisconsin in the fall, majoring in education with a special emphasis in special education. Next we have is Dawson Hoover. He is the son of Gwen Hoover. He, will be gra he graduated from Chesapeake High School, and he also attended Cat North, where he earned a certificate in welding. Now, Dawson is very excited about the next chapter in his life as he has opened his own business as a waterman on the Chesapeake and is a commercial crabber. Then we have Reagan Shoemaker. Reagan is the daughter of Lisa and Sean. She graduated from Chesapeake High School, and she will be attending Towson University in the fall, majoring in criminal justice. And then we have Cameron Tall. Cameron is the grandson of Kathy and Bruce Bauer. He, gra he will be graduating from Parkside High School in Salisbury, and he will be attending Salisbury University in the fall. Then we get to our college graduates. The first one is Joshua Hilpert. He's, again, the son of the guy up here and the wife in the pew. Uh, he graduated from California Baptist University with a Bachelor's of Science in Biomedical Engineering. He was magna cum laude. While there, he played the trumpet with a pep band for all basketball games, and he also commuted with the other colleges with the CBU Ultimate Frisbee team. Josh has accepted a job with Agility in Odenton, maintaining and repairing ventilator equipment, and he's looking forward to planting his roots here in Maryland, and also playing trumpet here in worship. And last but not least, Lindsay Wilson. Lindsay is the daughter of Jennifer and Chris. Jennifer, it's good to see you this morning. Uh, she graduated from Hood College with a Bachelor of Arts in Biochemistry. Lindsay will be attending West Virginia School of Medicine in July. All these ones, watch them grow up from young until they got much, much older. Like I said, it was a community affair as we as the body of Christ here at Galilee have supported them, prayed for them, and encouraged them throughout these years. So along with their parents, we have the same prayer of our hearts. If you turn your attention to the screens, it's a time of just prayer for us to God.
encourage you to continue to pray for all of our graduates as they continue on into high school, college, and as they enter into the world with us. Continue to be nurtured in their faith, following their Savior. Uh, as we head to our time of prayer, hopefully as you arrive today, you uh, received the announcement sheet. A lot of colorful things here. One, a couple highlights. Our chicken sales, the uh, kicking chickens, will be in September. I know there's a little confusion last weekend, but it'll, they will be back in September. Uh, we definitely need adult volunteers for VBS, so if you can volunteer, please check out the uh, website or see Dylan afterwards. There's a trip to Hershey's Park. There's still the Eldermill Ruffle outside, and today at 1 o'clock is our refresh class. But we have a number of prayers that are on the front of there and also were added today. Uh, prayers for Greg Van Dyke, who is recovering from emergency gallbladder surgery. Uh, prayers 